All right, 20 laps will be the distance for our final event of the night, the Legend Cars. Andrew Smith in Victory Lane, car number 49. Nice job down there, the driver out of Rogersville, Missouri. Working that bottom lane all night long, getting her done. All right, getting ready to roll them. We'll set them up for you. Steve Harshbarger, make that the 10 of Stephen Harshbarger Jr. on point. On his outside, it'll be Matthew Bowen in car number 44. On the inside of row number two, Richard Powell in the 29. Chance Gilbert out of Galena, Kansas in the 01. Mike Gilbert also out of Galena, Kansas inside road number three. Could be a dandy. We got some good fast cars starting back there at the back, including James McDougal. Here we go coming off turn number four, green in the air. Down the back stretch, they'll go for the first time. Richard Powell leading them in to turns three and four. Coming off turn number four, he'll lead lap number one. Gilbert in the number second, in the number two spot, I should say. That's Mike Gilbert in the 31 car. Grayson Cox up to third already. Wayne Johnson already up into the fourth spot. Rodney Baird moving forward. And James McDougal in car number 41, also moving forward, already up into the top five. Everybody liking the bottom of the speedway right now. Couple of cars deep in the field, moving up just a little bit. Mike Gilbert running in second, right behind leader, Richard Powell. Grayson Cox, who had a second place finish in the March Madness Brawl. Right now in the third spot, trying to move in on Mike Gilbert's number 31 car. Good battle for fourth as James McDougal finds a lane underneath the 60 of Wayne Johnston. So put Wayne Johnston back to the five spot is Grayson Cox makes the pass on Mike Gilbert so move Grayson Cox into the two spot can Grayson Cox run down the leader looks like he may be closing that gap just a bit as James McDougal may be the fastest car on the speedway up to third. May run out of time to get up there and battle with the leaders. 37 car of Brad Biddle, driver out of Baxter Spring, Kansas. He'll be the first car to go one lap down. I say that just as I say that little bit of a bobble down there. Richard Powell had to lift and that allows Grayson Cox to close right up on his back bumper. Also helps James McDougal just a bit. Coming off turns three and four, Powell's still out in front, but that gap is about three car lengths. Down to the start finish line. Once again, Richard Powell maybe opening up a little bit of a lead over Grayson Cox, a little bit more than he had. Lap car of Bowen just ahead. 
Richard Powell making his way past the 44 car. Mike Gilbert dropping back. Now into fifth is Wayne Johnston's number 60 car goes around and we got a spin down here in turn number four. That'll be the number 37 car and a caution's gonna come out for Brad Biddle, driver out of Baxter Springs, Kansas. So caution gonna come out for the first time for the legend cars presented by Wheeler Metals. And one thing we've seen in these legend cars is after a caution flag, things sometimes really get interesting. I'm talking about some cars that maybe have been struggling, seem to come to life. Other cars that may have been running up front drift back just a little bit. And you gotta believe that Richard Powell was content to stay green as he had a good rhythm going in that number 29 car. On a positive side, no more lap traffic will get in his way. On the negative side, Grayson Cox, a crafty veteran, and James McDougal right there as well. And don't count out Wayne Johnston, as Wayne Johnston right there as well. So this could get really good as we settle it down here towards the end of the race. All right, getting the field lined back up for the restart. It will be a double file restart and Grayson Cox has chosen the bottom lane around the speedway. So the double file restart behind leader Richard Powell. Can he hold it out to the end? We're gonna find out. He gets a good break on the green flag. Taking him into turns one and two, but everybody right up on his back bumper now as they come off turn two down the back stretch. Grayson Cox, a couple of car lengths off the leader's back bumper. Wayne Johnson has cleared the number three spot. Richard Powell trying to protect that low lane as James McDougal slides back just a little bit, battling now for the fourth position. Richard Powell out in front, but that lead is gone. A single car lane for the 29. Grayson Cox right on his back bumper, but Cox is gonna have to think about Wayne Johnston as the 777 gave a little shot to that 29 car. Keith Pratt shaking the flag at him just a little bit. Wayne Johnson has dropped back a couple of car lengths, now closes in. Good battle and now a side-by-side -side battle for second. Wayne Johnston is going after Grayson Cox. And now Grayson Cox going to the top side of the speedway. We're three wide for the lead. Richard Powell down on the bottom of the speedway. Coming off turn number four, still has the lead, but it's Wayne Johnston in second. Johnston again, the crafty veteran trying to make his way up to the leader. Richard Powell loose off turn number four, opens the door. Top two, so close together, going down into one and two. And Wayne Johnston, very courteous driver, giving Richard Powell a little room down here in turn one and two. White flag in the air, what's gonna happen? Grayson Cox tried to get a run on the top side, coming off turn number two, down the back stretch. Wayne Johnson has fallen off just a little bit, now closes in, final time, coming off turns three and four, down to the start finish line. How about Richard Powell? Grayson Cox and Wayne Johnson, your top three.
How about it? And I'm going to tell you something, Rays fans. Tip of the hat to Wayne Johnston. He had a couple of opportunities to put the bumper to the 29 car and really cut him some slack down here in four. A very courteous and professional driver, but how about this winner tonight? Richard Powell in car number 29 getting her done. And I believe that may be Richard's first feature win, if I'm not mistaken. And he's got a little fan right down there. That's a pretty cool deal right there, taking a fan to victory lane. We sure appreciate you fans that stuck around to the end. I know it's cold out there tonight. That wind is really whipping out of the south. But we appreciate you staying around. You got paid off right there at the end as we had an outstanding finish right down to the end. And there he is, climbing out of the race car, feature winner in the Wheeler Medals, Legend Cars, Richard Powell. Race fans, be careful as you drive home tonight. We'll see you right back here again at the Springfield Raceway.